Hey everybody, Neil Gupton with Blister. And today we're going to talk about taking our first look at the Boom One Tactile Transducer Processor from Aviom. They're releasing this thing the end of January 2019 at the NAM show, but Carl and the, and the great folks at Aviom were kind enough to send me a copy in advance and get my feedback on it because I play about 230 shows a year with the band. When you go in ears or headphones for the drum kit, and this is good for uh, other instruments as well, but when you go in ears, and I go wireless in ear headphones, uh, playing 230 shows a year, it's gonna ruin your hearing, so these are a great thing and a great invention. The problem is you lose the feel of the drum kit. And uh, depending on the stage you're on, especially stages like concrete and outdoors, um, you, you get no reflex out of the kick drum. So you end up stomping into it, hitting harder kind of subconsciously, because you, you just lose the feel. So what these do is in conjunction with a transducer on the drum throne, gives you that shake when you hit the kick drum, when you hit the toms, and it feels like a real kit. The unit that Pearl used to sell, they've discontinued them called a chrome thumper. Luckily, uh, Avion uses the same transducer, uh, so I was able to keep mine because I had the old Pearl model. But the Pearl amps uh, were not very musical. They were just, they would just shake the heck out of you. And so your bass player might be hitting a long note, and uh, on a long low note, the whole thing would just shake at its max, so now you're picking the bass drum. You don't really feel it until that bass shuts off. What they've done here is they put digital signal processing in, and they made it a much more musical device to work with. It's very simple. It's a manual that comes with it. I mean, it's only two inputs and outputs. Real simple. You can hook it up hardwired. They have personal mixer uh, stations on their website. Basically an input and output. How I do it is I send an, uh, an output. So we'll go like auxiliary out from the, the board. Let's say auxiliary one out from the mixing board. That's mine, and I just go to the balanced line in on the back. And then from the transducer, I just leave it attached to my throne into the back. That's simple. All I need to do is hook the power cord up. And that is that. So, of course, on the mixer, I'm going to take my auxiliary out. I'm going to push up the kick drum and the toms, bass guitar if you want. Turn the unit on. Here's your strength knob. You're only going to get to about 9 o'clock with it before it starts clipping. It's got a red clip knob of uh, light here. So you'll know when you're doing it. And then he's got three presets in it. And uh, I found this very useful and a mute button. but. I found this very useful uh, on different types of stages. I've got a nice uh, drum riser made of wood, or, you know, it's boxy, and I'm getting good reflex anyway. You can set it to tight. Um, this is a little looser, and this is a little more loose. So most of the time, I've got it here. And the best thing about this is, is that it feels like a natural drum kit rather than just shaking, playing. It's got dip switches in the back here. It tells you in the manual how you can flip those. Uh, for low pass, high pass filter. I've been really enjoying it over the past seven or eight shows that we've done and uh, highly recommend it at this point. So look them up. Website's at the bottom of your screen. avium.com. You'll see their personal mixers that go with this too. They got a lot of great stuff at the website. And I really want to thank Carl Bader and the great folks at Avion for hooking us up with this. And uh, see you next time.